Hey YouTube, Fred here. And now that you have your Samsung Captivate updated to Froyo, the leaked version, you're gonna, some people may want to go ahead and root the phone. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that I am on Froyo really quickly. And rooting the phone is really a simple task. All you have to do is download Super One Click version 1.6.5. You can find it on the HDA developer's website, but if you're not a member, you can Google it and just make sure you find it from a trusted site. I should have a link down below, but if not, then you can Google for Super One Click. It's all one word. Super One Click version 1.6.5, which is the newest version. It has gotten rid of a lot of bugs. So once you have that downloaded and unzip you're going to want to go to, into the folder and the super app, one click app is right here you're going to want to right click that and run it as administrator i'm not sure if it's necessary but that's just the way i've always done it and then you're going to get this little window right here and basically that's all the app is you have to you have the choice to root shell root unroot allow non-market apps and donate and then there's a specific Samsung Captivate tab which allows you to get the unlock code so you can use this phone on whatever network you want to, which is useful as well. But the thing we're gonna do is we're gonna root the well we're gonna root the phone first. So what you're gonna wanna do is just plug the phone in and click root. That's all you have to do, it's nothing really complicated. And then to be able to tell if your phone would actually root or not, because when I actually did it, the phone didn't cut off or anything. I didn't really believe it was rooted. But uh, you're going to get this super user app right here. It's And basically it gives permission to different apps on your phone. And it allows your computer to get into the phone as well. So, um, the next thing you're going to want to do with the Samsung Captivate, as you know, AT&T has it. So where the phone only allows you to get apps directly from the Android Marketplace. So what, what you're going to want to do is click this tab right here, which says allow non-market apps. Now what that does is exactly what it says. It allows you to install different apps that um, AT&T and Samsung wouldn't allow you to get, say, if you got them directly off the computer, um, you wouldn't be able to get it because once you went into my files, for instance, and tried to install the SDK, with the APK, I'm sorry, you would get uh, a pop-up that said you can't install this because it's not allowed by a carrier or whatever, and then it was click you back to whatever you at before. So with this, <clears throat> with this enable uh, the non-market apps, you can go ahead and hit install with, with whatever APK you've downloaded, and that'll install, and then you can open it up and everything works just as it, sh as it should. So that's the way you um, root the phone and also allow non-market apps to be installed on your Samsung Captivate. So, and that's using Froyo. I'm not sure if this works with uh, Eclair on the Samsung Captivate. I haven't used this before. Um, I rooted it and uh, allowed non-market apps a different way when I had Eclair, which is a bit longer to allow non-market apps, but it all worked the same. So this was Fred, this was rooting and allowing non-market apps on your phone. So that was it. Leave any questions or comments below. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.